So in this video, we're going to talk about how the audio paths all run separate and independent from the video. So all of the switching will be separate when you do your audio versus the video. So we're going to start with our mixer right here. And this is what's going to control all of the audio right here. You see right up here, we've got DVD number one on the first selector. I go down one. That's going to be DVD number two. I go to the next switch down. That's going to be outside device input number one. And then I click it one more time down. And that is outside device input number two. And then the final click right here all the way down is your Bluetooth. So with your outside devices, like for instance what we've done right here, is that we have the phone right here has the HDMI connected, and then we took a, uh, a headphone out of the phone, and that's going into number two, and so that's how we're hearing the phone. If you go here to outside device number two, that's the audio for the phone right now. Now for the laptop, as an example, we went ahead and plugged the laptop into video number one, but we went ahead and set the Bluetooth from the laptop, so if I go down here to Bluetooth, that sound right now is the Bluetooth audio from the laptop. When you search for the Bluetooth with your device, it's literally the word Bluetooth spelled out. And that will uh, connect you to this mixer. So that's it. You just look for the word Bluetooth spelled out and you just sync with that. And that becomes your device and you're good to go. And it's that easy and that simple. Now the other aspect about this is great is that you can connect any audio with any one of your video sources. So you might want to have uh, some music going on a DVD or with your phone or your laptop, but then have another device showing um, logos or sponsor content or some other content. So it just gives you the option to mix your audio and video sources at will any way you want. Now, <clears throat> for the outputs, the master outputs for uh, all of those devices are over here. And you can see we've got audio out one. And that gives you two XLR outputs, which you can use to connect to your PA system. And then you also have a set of matching RCA outputs that you can use to send to your FM transmitter. And then with that, you're all set. So you just connect your PA speakers, connect one of your FM transmitters if you're doing that, and then any one of those selections that you select for your audio right there is going to be sent to those outputs, which is just fantastic. We're going to talk about the second set of outputs in a separate video. So there you go. The basic pass for your outputs is as simple as plugging them in, choosing the right selection, and you're all set and good to go.